How we doing YouTube? I'm just reacting to this um boxing match between um Tyson and Jake Paul. Now uh I'm hearing rumours it's gonna be an exhibition. I just I can't see that. At the beginning I, I thought that, but the reason I can't see that is on Jake Paul's end. And plus Tyson's got an ego as well, hasn't he? Say what you want, it's still Mike Tyson, and <laughs> even though it's a shell of a shell of a shell of Mike Tyson, it's still Mike Tyson. And I'll get into that in a bit. But um, the reason why I don't think it's going to be an exhibition is because Jake Paul knows the shit he's going to get if, it, if it's an exhibition. He'll, he's getting shit anyway, but that'll just be like a fucking a slap in the face, an extra slap in the face if it's an exhibition. No knockouts. It has to be a boxing bout for like people to get interested in it. People are going to watch it anyway, so... It's because it's on Netflix, isn't it? People are going to watch it. They're just curious. It's a spectacle, isn't it? And that little tomato head, people just want to watch him, don't they? I just can't for the light me think of why. He's been beat by Tommy Fury. We know what level he's at. Tommy Fury beat him. He's never... Be quiet a sec. He's never winning a British, like, uh, title, Tommy Fury. Never. So um, that's what level Jake Paul's at. The Tommy Fury level. So um, he should be fighting, like... If if he wants to prove himself, he should be fighting these young, up and like hungry like level fighters. You know what I mean? He's not. He's not doing that. He's like picking and choosing. He's even fighting cans that shouldn't be in there with him, or like over the hill bums. You know? Well, I wouldn't call Anderson Silver a bum, but he's fighting like these over the hill people that like are way past the prime, and he's he's picking and choosing them. Do you know what I mean? He's picking and choosing like who he's fighting, and um. <clears throat> This Mike Tyson, like, who was fighting, like, it's it's not the same Mike Tyson. I know, like, that's obvious, but he's going to be nearly 60. And Tyson, like, towards the end of his prime, he was getting beat off, like, Danny Williams and Kevin McBride. Do you know what I mean? And and then 20 years later, he comes out of retirement and fight Roy Jones Jr. Looks all right on the bags. He's fighting another person that's over the hill, Roy Jones Jr., over the hill past his prime in the late 90s. Not the same fight. He was getting sparked out by Enzo McAnally in the mid-2000s. Not the same Roy Jones Jr. They're putting a good show, exhibition, yeah? No knockdowns. It looked all right. It was just a sparring match. So if Jake Paul goes in there and knocks his version of Mike Tyson out, people are going to think, yeah, you knocked the legend out. He's going to get hated on. And if he gets beat, a 60-year-old Mike Tyson beat you. It's a lose-lose for him. And we know it's all about the public profile with Jake Paul. He's already got the money. Because people will be saying, oh, yeah, he's going to get loads of money. He's not asked about them. It's all about the public profile with Jake Paul. So um, what's he going to do? Maybe he does do the exhibition for that reason. But but then again, Tyson, he's had them stem cells, hasn't he? And um, them stem cells, like, all the celebrities are getting them stem cells. Mel Gibson's dad had them. He was in his 90s dying. Couldn't move. He had the stem cells. Mel Gibson says he's like a 60-year-old man now. And that's younger than Mel Gibson. Um, but Tyson's had them stem cells as well. And like people say, he moves different in training or like towards the end. He's a different Tyson. Even though he's still 60, the, the, I've heard people saying this version of Tyson would beat the Tyson what lost to um, Danny Williams and Kevin McBride. God knows. But um, them stem cells do help like... But um, whether it's going to help his, um, his chin on the night. Because say what you want to Jake Paul. He's not a bad boxer. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's getting the rounds in. Money does talk. He's getting the best trainers. And um, the level he's at, he's a bit he's about Tommy Fury level. And like I said, that's not enough to win a British level title, in my opinion. And when they fight on the night, Tyson and um, Jake Paul, if it's not an exhibition, it's going to be very... It's just interesting, isn't it? Um, if Tyson knocks him out, he's going to get laughed at, Jake Paul, isn't he? And if he knocks Tyson out, people are going to hate on him for knocking the legend out. So, I don't know. But what do I think is going to happen? Jake Paul should win. He should win. Because this isn't the same Tyson. It's like me it's like saying, because uh, I used to be a football player, it's like me saying, oh, I want a um, game of football and I want to play... Um, Think of a name, uh, Phil Thompson. Do you know Phil Thompson of Soccer? Do you know Soccer Saturday? He's with Liverpool. He's like in his sixties now, and he's not the same Phil Thompson. 
he might still spank me, but <laughs> I'm playing him. And if I beat him, I haven't beat Phil Thompson, who was in the Premier League and like the great Liverpool side of the 80s. I've beat an old Phil Thompson. So it's just, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? He should be fighting these up and coming. If he wants to prove himself, he should be fighting up and coming talent. It's all about public face for Jake Paul. But I don't know, it's just it's a big slap in the face, isn't it, for fucking Netflix as well. Just a big money grab for everyone, Netflix, everyone. So I don't know. I 